Welcome to my YouTube channel. Our today's topic is about money and the substrate is discount. To begin with, we need to know what is discount. Have you ever walked into a shop and found an item with a price written on it? Let's say six fifty. And when you look just next to it, you find a tag showing that it's five hundred and fifty. The initial price here is what you call the marked price. We can abbreviate this one to MP to mean marked price. And the price written on this flag is what we call buying price. It can also be the selling price because this is the buy this is the price because this is the price at which customers are going to buy. And again, this is the same same price the seller of the item is going to sell his commodity. Therefore, how do you feel if you find this flag? Of course, you feel excited knowing that now you are able to purchase many items because the price has been reduced. So, the reducing of the price is what we call discount. That is, instead of you buying the item at the original price, which is the max price, now you buy it at five fifty, which is a lesser price. Therefore, the amount has been reduced to five fifty. We want to know to, at what less has the item been sold. So initially it was six fifty, but now it's five fifty. Therefore, you have been given a discount, or you are going to buy the commodity at a, at a lesser price by a hundred so that a hundred is what we call the discount so most of the business people uh, give discount to customers as a way of attracting them to come and buy so they want to make huge sales maybe they want to change the stock therefore you buy the item less by a hundred so this is our discount so this takes us to getting formula on how to get discount. Discount is equal to marked price, take away selling price by the seller or buying price by the buyer. It depends on what you have been given the equation. You can be given a selling price, so you put it there. Therefore, this is how we get discount. Let's get more examples. In this example, we are told that Japolo bought a coat for shillings 560. If the max price was 620, what was the discount? So we need to read the question as we analyze it step by step. We are being asked about the discount. This is our buying price. And the max price was 620. So this is our max price. Now let's now apply the formula. How do we get discount? Discount is equal to Match price, take away buying price or selling price. At this point, we are given the buying price. So the buying price meaning by the buyer. He bought the item at 560. Therefore, our max price is 620, take away 560. Let's subtract. So 620, take away 560. Zero take away zero is zero. We borrow one there because two can take away six. So 12 take away six is six. Here we are left with five. Five take away five is zero. Therefore, the discount was 60. Meaning, the person bought the coat less than the max price by 60. In this example, we are told that the max price for a pair of shoes was 450 shillings. The shoes were bought for 360 shilling, what was the discount? In other words, we are looking for how less did the person buy the pair of shoes. So you can imagine when the person who walked in the shop, he found the shoes were initially for 50, but he ended up buying the shoes at 360. So how less did he purchase the shoes than the marked 
price and to apply our formula discount is equals to max price take away buy price by the buyer or selling price by the seller in this case our max price is 450 take away our buy price which is 360 so 450 minus 360 zero take away zero is zero five can take away six we borrow one that one it's 10 so we put that 15 15 take away six is nine three take away three is zero therefore he was excused not to pay a whole 90. you can imagine if it's our mom who had sent you to buy these shoes and she knew the shoes are going for 450. when you come home with net shillings she'll be very happy therefore discounts are made to make our customers happy to come again in this example we are told that a customer paid uh, 540 shillings after being allowed a discount of 60 shillings what was the marked price so we need to read the question as we analyze it to see what we are given and what we are looking for so he paid meaning this is how you, you bought the item by paying this so our buying price it's 540 and our discount is 60 shilling the question is about marked price we don't know what the marked price is such a question they require to apply the formula and our formula for getting discount we say discount is equal to marked price take it away buying price or selling price so once you write down the formula you will replace the formula with the right numbers that are given in the question so our discount according to the question is 60. so when we have discount we put 60 is equals to max price we don't know that's our question we give it letter x so x take away buying price and our buying price is 540. once you reach this point now you apply the algebraic rule that you put like terms together considering the sign behind each digit or each number and here we take this number to the other side it was negative it becomes plus so 60 plus 540 gives us our x so 540 plus 60 0 plus 0 is 0 4 plus 6 is 10 carry 1 1 plus 5 is 6 and our x is equal to 600 so our marked price our x was marked price so our marked price was 600 remember when you're buying the when you're buying goods under discount the marked price is always bigger than the selling price because this is the price before a discount is allowed and that's why if we take away 60 we go back to our buying price which is 540. in this example you have been told that a trader was allowed a discount of 350 shillings if he paid 1870 what was the market price again as we read the question we analyze it try to see what we are given and what we're looking for this question i've been told that a trader was allowed a discount so this is the discount our discount is equal to 350 if he paid so whatever he paid that's how he bought the item when you are paying for something you are you are buying it so the buying price was 1870 what was the marked price so we are being asked about the marked price so we don't know marked price we call it letter x again now we apply the formula for getting discount discount is equals to max price take away buying price or selling price so we replace our we replace so we replace whatever we are given here to the formula our discount is 350 so 350 is equals to max price which is x take away buying price which is 1870 at this point now we, we apply a break rule that is putting like terms together this negative we bring it here it was negative it becomes positive so plus 1870 should give us x so let's add this plus 350 0 plus 0 is 0 7 plus 5 is 12 carry 1 
1 plus 8 is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. Carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. And our x is equals to 2,220. So these are marked price. 2,220 shillings. I wish you the best. And kindly subscribe. Press the notification bell. Leave a comment. And also practice. Remember practice makes perfect. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.